Hi, everyone. Uh, I am here in Jakarta. It's been a wild couple of days, um, but I've been reminded of a lot. So I wanted to do a meditation. And then if you're new here, I usually do meditation in a compass format. And north, we focus on our goals. East, we look at our relationships. South, we look at our blockages. And then west, we look at the relationship to ourself. And whenever I get lost or we skip too many weeks and I don't know where I am, I always choose north. So we are going to do that. We're going to do a little bit of breath work and then a little meditation. But every time I leave the United States, which is this year I've been um, blessed to have left a lot. And being here in Jakarta, being in a different country is very interesting. I'm trying to find the right words to say. But I think more than anything, it makes me realize how blessed I am to have been given this life. And if you know, like the origin story, there's been many years where I didn't feel like I was blessed. And I think that's a common thing. And the older I get, the more that I realize that we all kind of come in, most of us, I feel, come in into this sort of sh shambles <laughs> into whatever we end up in. And as we grow, our job is to shed the layers and shed the stories of this idea that because we started in a place that wasn't that good, that sets the trajectory of our life. And I don't think it does. I think that you choose the trajectory of your life. And I also just want to remind you, because I've been reminded of this too, that um, privilege is not just where you're born. It is also the ability to understand where you are now. And so if you are the person that is lucky enough to have time in your day to do this meditation, if you're the person that's lucky enough to understand that you are not just the body and you're not just the mind, there's something other. That's why it's important to make time to, um, to delve into consciousness. It's important to create space for the infinite within and the infinite without. Those are very privileged thoughts to think. It's a blessing to be able to get to the point in your life where you consider meditation to be a good thing and you have the time to do it. You have the phone to do it or the YouTube or the computer to do it. And those are a lot of things that I feel sometimes we overlook because we remember the stories that we're carrying with us of how difficult it can be, how difficult it has been, as opposed to with this meditation, I'm going to invite you to just sit down, remember where you are, and think about where you are now, not with the stories with you, but just where are you now? And how privileged are you now? And likely it's a lot more than you think. And from this place of understanding how absolutely blessed we are to live this life, how can you take the next step forward? So that'll be this meditation. And let's get started. So find a comfortable seat and just roll out whatever is stuck. I always have to roll my neck and my shoulders and do a whole bit. So get yourself comfortable. As always, we start with breath because breath connects us, I feel, to that sort of other, the ether. You get to feel the breath moving in your body. So we're gonna do a Bastrika breath. It's the breath that I've been on <laughs> for the last couple of weeks, I think. But it's a heavy inhale and a heavy exhale, and it looks and it sounds like <sighs> And so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do 30, and then we're gonna inhale and hold the breath. And when you hold the breath, you just wanna let everything tingle. You want to understand that there's something inside of you that is different than what you maybe observe. So let's begin, deep breath in. <sighs> Keep going. And as you go, take sharp in, sharp out. And the shoulders are moving as well to facilitate that. And there's maybe an audible exhale as you drop. Last five, keep going. Four, 
three, two, one. Let it out and then take a huge breath in and hold it. Three, two, one, let it go. Roll the shoulders. Just notice what came up, what tingles came up in the body. How did it feel? And then we're going in again, one more set. Deep breath in. Keep going. This time, focus more on the intake of breath. So keep going. I'm counting what I assume is 30 breaths for you. If you're on that same rhythm that I set, you're about halfway through. Keep going. And now let's turn into the exhale. <sighs> Keep going. Focus on expelling the breath instead of taking it in. You have five, four, three, two, one more. And then take a huge breath in and hold. This time it'll be for a little bit longer. So just notice everything start to come up. Notice how you feel full, but not tight. Your eyes are closed. Notice the colors behind your eyelids. Watch them. You have 10, nine, four, three, two, and release. Take a moment to do all this stuff again. And then close your eyes, keep your eyes closed for the rest of the time. And just take a few moments, just breathe. And notice how you feel underneath your skin, not your thoughts, not the skin, but underneath that. You can think of it as contained in the rib cage. How do you feel in there in the area surrounding your heart? As you focus on your heart, Again, with your eyes closed, watch the colors behind your eyes. What color is it and is it changing? I'm taking a deep breath in. Keeping your mouth closed, but letting it out softly through the nose. And then you're going to start to find your mind. Ask yourself the question, what is my next thought going to be? And then just wait. And then notice what it was. and start to think about who you are now and where you are now. Not necessarily where you are physically in the room, but where you are in your life. What place or what state are you at? And 
And once you notice the state that you're in, think about who you are or how you are. So who are you? How do you exist in this moment? Notice the quality of your thoughts. Notice if they were judgmental towards yourself or if you were able to stay on where you are in your life and who you are now and what you're made of and how you exist. You can keep thinking for a little bit and sort of gathering information about yourself. And start to take everything that you found, where you are in your life, how you are and what you contain, and bring all those pieces together and start to hold it in that space surrounding your heart. You can imagine everything gathering towards the chest, towards the heart. And notice if you feel any sort of subtle shifts in energy or any tingles or if the color behind your eyes starts to change. Begin to notice how lucky you are to have the capacity for breath, to have the capacity for thought, conscious thought, to have the ability to feel your body, to have all your parts together now and to contain them within the space of the heart. And let a feeling of thankfulness grow let gratitude start to build at your heart center. Begin to notice how blessed you are in your life, in the way that you treat yourself, in the people that you know, in the places that you've been, and what you contain now in this moment.
And now begin to take what you have, the gratitude, the knowledge of yourself, the heart space, that feeling of deep gratitude, and start to look forward. Start to think about what you can do with all of this, knowing who you are, knowing where you are. Begin to look forward in your life and begin to think about all the possibilities that lie in front of you when you take everything that you are in this grateful state and begin to look outside of yourself. What presents itself to you as possibility? Begin to take what you've noticed, taking all that you are, all the possibility in front of you, where you are in your life, everything. Begin to take it and hold it back in your heart space. Think about leaving it there and letting everything you do be tinged by the heart. All the possibilities in front of you, where you are, who you are, who would it be? How would you evolve if you were able to linger in your heart long enough for it to change, for everything you do to become colored by the heart? You can watch the colors behind your eyes again. Notice if they are changing. Notice if they're moving rapidly. Just observe, just watch. If you can make yourself a promise, what would it be? Knowing what you know now, before closing out the meditation, is there something that you can promise yourself? And then begin to take your hands together and start to rub. Generate as much heat as you can. Go as fast as you can for five, four, three, two. Place both hands over your heart and just feel the heat generating from the hands to the heart. 
knowing that you can affect change, not just physically, but internally. And when you can affect change internally, you can affect massive change externally. Bring your palms back together to touch, thumbs up to your forehead, deep breath in. And as you exhale, we'll bow forward and then you can open your eyes. Welcome back. Um, so hopefully there was some stuff in there that you found about yourself that is going to be really beneficial to you. I think that we are always our best teachers and giving yourself this time to sit and be with the infinite on the inside connects you in a much deeper way to the infinite on the outside because you have a whole world inside of you and there's a whole world outside of you and then there's you sort of as the barrier between two worlds and the ability to sit with the world inside can really affect massive change in the world outside so um, we love a discussion so drop what you felt or what you saw or anything that you want to share in the comments and then we'll go in there and have a we'll have a ball um, but I hope that everyone is well miss you love you and I will see y'all next week.